Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto, and I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And today, we were reacting to and breaking down. I just called to say I love you, Pentatonix. Very much enjoying the content lately. I am a big fan of them. If you have not seen my video recently called My Thoughts on Pentatonix, I go through all the different aspects of all the things that I say, usually the intro or outro of my videos, of the things that I like about them, the things I admire, things I think are really cool. So go check that out. I think it's really cool. If you want to check out my music, it is the best way to support the channel. Thank you so unbelievably much. You guys have been cranking, like cranking on my lyric videos and my uh, my, my new songs. It's like, it's, it's blowing my mind and I'm just so incredibly grateful. So thank you so, so, so much. That being said, if you want to check out the rest of the stuff, definitely consider subscribing. This is Pentatonix. I just called to say I love you. No New Year's Day. Come on, with the video quality is to insane. celebrate. No chocolate covered candy hearts to give away. No first to spring. Oh, I got some storytelling coming in too. This is cool. No song to sing. In fact, it's just another ordinary. I'm gonna pause really quick. Watch this. So a couple things that I want to talk about. Some first of all, like I I want to recommend you after after watching this video, go and watch some of the earlier stuff. And this is one of the things I talked about in that video uh, of me saying the things that I, my thoughts on pentatonics. Like go watch some of their other stuff because like the earlier stuff because their progression, quality of vocals, like production quality of video like they are one of the best best examples of artists that you see like start from really nothing and like now to see this like super high quality music video is really 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 cool now let's talk about some of the vocal production with some nice reverb scott's vocals sound fantastic i love just everything about the way this is set up you know the, the it's kind of like this um what we call the uh, uh teal and orange uh, orange and teal kind of vibe where it's got these orange hues but like if you look at like his collar it has more of like the teal blue uh kind of vibe to it uh, really crisp looking video and now talking some of the music a very very clean vocal sound you can hear as we start to transition as, as you're moving into the other room you can hear other vocals and reverse sounds kind of swelling in saying hey we're probably going to transition in a second hear that layered vocal starting to come in reverse i just called to say i love you oh my gosh i just called to say how much I care. Do you hear the insane, I want to call vocoder vocals, where in the sense of it's act, the harmonies are so tight and so perfect that it actually almost sounds like a vocoder. And a vocoder is a synthesizer, you can see the synthesis over here, where you control pitches and tones of uh, what I call like regular instruments. So for example, typically vocal, vocals with a synthesizer. And it gives this very, very, very cool uh, sound to it. Uh, for example, like Isotope, Isotope Vocal Synth is a, the, the vocoder that I use. And what you do is you run your vocals through it and it creates harmonies based on what you're playing and you can manipulate the harmony sounds to sound however you want, which is a really cool aspect of it. And it has a very distinct tone. Like for example, a really good example would be like uh, Taylor Swift's Delicate. The intro like that has a very, very good, or uh, The Middle by Maren Morris and Zed. Uh, all those songs have really cool vocoders. This is really, really wild because it's such tight harmony, so perfectly in time, so perfectly in key and everything, that it almost sounds like that uh, vocoder. It, it's like, and, I, and they're usually close harmonies. Usually a vocoder doesn't have all this huge spread of high, low like harmonies. It's like, they're usually relatively within like an octave and a half. So this is really, really cool. Say it's so well done. Sorry, also the contrast between the rare reverb vocals in the intro, like with Scott, and now these very, very close, intimate lack of reverb uh, gives this really, really cool, uh, cool, cool, just uh, like distinction between the two. Which, that being said, like, so for reverb, it, it, reverb is, is the size of a room. So the bigger the room, the more reverb you're going to have. Like, think like a cathedral or something like that. 
and as opposed to like a smaller room like say this this studio that i'm in right here is probably like a 10 by 10 8 by 8 kind of thing it's smaller than you actually think it is <laughs> um is going to have much less of a reverb uh but if you're an artist yourself and you want to create reverb you know you can definitely use like plugins and stuff to if you're not in an actual like cathedral to church you, where you can capture the natural reverb, you can use plugins, for example, like Focusrite and their fast verb, and you know create things like either through AI with the fast verb, or actually manipulate it yourself and create your own special reverb. Given this perceived depth or size of room, but the lack of reverb creates an actual intimacy and closeness. I just call to say so wild. I love so you. wild. Okay, see, now listen to this. Listen to that. I'm gonna rewind it. Just listen to the huge reverb throw come in. Ah, uh, where was it? Where was that? Oh, right there, it's the heart. Listen to the huge reverb come in. So that could be done, like I said, through either a uh, natural room sound or something like. Uh, the verb from the the verb reverb from from Focus right in, in the collection the collective really cool stuff. Hey, look at the soy milk right there. No Libra sun, no Halloween, no giving thanks to all the Christmas joy you bring. Oh, these masking transitions are so cool, man. The way it moves down, you mask in the next the next scene. That's I just call to it. say I love, I love you. I just call to say how much I care. These transitions are wild. I just call to say So cool, right there. Right before they modulate, modulate, go to a new key. Uh, they do that. What you would expect to be like the, uh, like the, the climax of that, right there. That big sound, but they don't. And it just, I think it was Kirsty uh, right here. Oh my yeah, uh, Kirsty with her like big, big, big. You think choir, but no, it's just her. And then they are Paige into the, the harmony. It's so cool. Arpeggio is when you take a chord, by the way, sorry, I apologize for pausing it. Arpeggio is when you take a chord that you normally have like a, a, a several harmony and you break it into single notes to then form either a harmony at the end or just you're taking the harmony and playing it sing in, in that single note. And the panic between it. <laughs> Modulation, new key. Lego chord. Ooh, four, one. Very, 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 very popular plagal chord, which is the, the proper term, also known as like the, the Catholic Church chord, because they use it very often in that. I think it's actually they call it the Amen chord. Amen. Mean my heart. Yes, I mean it from. Yes, I. Yes, I mean it from Layered the harmony split. bottom of my heart. I didn't realize how short Kirstie was. <laughs>
Uh, it's wild. Even the attention to detail. Look at this. Like the LED light strips right under here, like create and right under the 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 um the I'm uh, sorry, the, you can't see my mouse. Right under the, the couch or the the um uh, under the what are those called? Picture frames. Like really, just attention to detail is superb in this video. Really, really, really cool video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Big fan of Pentatonics. I hear uh, you guys are texting me and you guys are sending me messages saying that you guys have been seeing them and Home Free Live and have tickets and you're excited. And I'm so pumped for you guys. I hope you have an absolute blast when you see them. Definitely let me know. So send me a message on Instagram or text me or Patreon message me or something like that to let me know how the experience is because I am so I'm so pumped. I, I want to see New York tickets, see where they're available. But thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Best way to support the channel is checking out my music. You guys are crazy. Listen to all this stuff. It's so wild. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless and peace out.